As late summer senesces and days shorten, fall colors begin to show, promising one more floral display before the gray-brown winter. Here it's the season of asters like these New England asters, but also chicory, goldenrod, knapweed, sunflowers, and more. These flowers are open to the world and to pollinators. But there are flowers that keep clothes to varying degrees. Here, looking like a bouquet of closed dandelions, is burnweed. Even unhelpful insects can get to the sweet, unopening flowers. Turtlehead is another almost closed flower that only certain insects can work properly. Bumblebees are good at pushing the fresh flowers open. And they use buzz pollination or sonication to collect its pollen. Here the flower moves like a turtle's jaw as the bee forces its way in to collect pollen and nectar. The bees get handsomely rewarded for their effort, so it's worth them keeping to turtle heads for as long as the nectar and pollen keep coming. And pollen gets moved from flower to flower. The sweet and pollen-rich flowers give great rewards to the noisy specialist. Listen. But there are even more impressive closed flowers near the ground, in the weeds. Blue to purple bottle gentians. Tightly closed flowers. Only bumblebees can push their way in, and even they don't always succeed. But with persistence, and some proper positioning, even a little sonication, she manages to dive into the gentian and get her rewards. Bees and flowers have co-evolved. Here the flower gets a gentian specialist that can move pollen around without too much waste, and one that will, while the pollen and nectar rewards are high, keep visiting other gentians. For late summer life, time is of the essence. Mm -hmm.